Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 35 here on the Frozen Rock. Uh, well, last episode, we started our coal facility for power. And we've got, uh, we started getting the platform in. Uh, I got power run from the main base all the way over to here because we're going to need power in the beginning but once this is all in place then there's going to be more power heading the other direction so uh, we should uh, have a plus surplus once these are in uh, I also got a small cargo container which makes it nice because I can start uh, storing supplies over here and I also have a full load of parts that I brought over at the end of last episode. And we can see them all in here. So, which is a lot of the parts for the coal boiler and the steam, steam turbines. Now the plan is to, let's see six. The plan is to put a steam turbine right here. So that takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. Let me see, does it tell me? Uh, six spaces. And it's Go ahead. Uh, so it's six by two. And so I want to put two of them in here. So I am going to need... Actually, I need this to be brought out. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let me do this. Oh, let me... Let me look at that one more time, just so I know. Uh, I actually think I'm going to have to... Because this is starting to dig down, and I don't want to dig down anymore. I might have to orientate this a little bit differently. I might have to put the steam turbines across this end. So, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I have to go four more out this way. All right. I think that's what I'll do. So let's take a look at that steam turbine again. Six. I need to. All right. So it's going to be on the very end. So it'll sit something like this. Actually, this one, will, it'll face the other way, but I'm just kind of looking at that. So, now, a, the coal fired. So, if we go to five. And that's in the center. So, we would have... One, two, three, four... Five, six. So that's where one pipe will come in, which I may. Well, I gotta decide. Uh, I think the way I want this to go. Let's try this again. Six. If I face this this away. then I could have the boiler plugged in the center on that side. And then we would have the other boiler down here on this end. 
Yeah, I think that's what I gotta do. Okay, so I got a lot larger platform I've got to build out here, so I think that's what I'm going to get started working on. The sooner I can get this platform done, the sooner I can start laying out my wireframe for my coal boilers and whatnot. So, I will be back with you in just a little bit. Alright, I have uh, been uh, kind of trying to plan this. So I've got, this is the steam turbine. It's 2x6 and the uh, input is right, comes down right here. This is the coal boiler and it's uh, steam output comes out right here so those should match up and that brings that down to here and then that will give me then I've got to figure out the layout if I want to do if I want to flip them around and have you know I might want to flip it around and have the other coal down on this side and then that might give me room to put my large cargo container right here in the middle and then I can have uh, have pipes coming off of them and running to each of these so let me get these two built and we'll see how that looks once they're completed and then I will uh, catch back up with you again. All right. Well, just to give you an update, I have I made some progress on here. I was able to get the second coal boiler in place. And as you can see, I have my steam turbines kind of facing or in line uh, with the input on this end coming from the uh, coal boiler and of course from this end coming into the coal boiler. Now I need electromagnets. I need I think 98 or almost 100 electromagnets and then that's all that's needed for this uh, turbine and this turbine. And then I need a bunch of cement blocks and girders. So I'm going to have to go back over uh, to the main base and pick up more parts. But uh, I'm also figured out I'm going to be able to put my... I'm going to put two large cargo containers right here in the middle. Now they are three by three, so they'll... They'll fit right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that'll leave one space left there. And then if I go one, two, three, that'll leave two spaces back behind. So I'll be able to walk in and behind the cargo containers and be able to get to these if I need be, something like that. Uh, so. I see I got another problem with my Monarch transport. They seem to be hitting a specific area. And so I'm going to guess I'm going to have to delete them. And at some point we will get another one. I'll actually delete that Monarch transport, the 12.8. Oh. That one looks like it's starting to move again. Uh, we'll see how they, see how that works out. Alright, so I'm going to head back over to the main base. I'm also going to swing by and grab that unknown signal since it's close enough. And uh, once I get the parts uh, and get uh, 
more of this base done, I'll give you an update. So I'll be back and I will see you in just a few minutes. Okay, I am getting closer to getting this uh, a little more done. I managed to go get my parts. I finished building out the floor. And I've got all of the electromagnets that I need to finish this. So let's let's see if we can get these finished. Make sure they all line up. I hope. Yeah, that looks good. That's that one. And let's finish this one off. Okay, so these are all in place. That's connected in nicely, and that should be down on this end as well. Okay, that's all connected in there. So now, I think I mentioned that uh, the way I've got this laid out now is that I was able to put my two uh, large cargo containers uh, right here. And that gives me room to walk around and come in behind and be able to get around. Now, I could put scaffolding in and around, and I might do that once I get done here just to add some uh, interest to it just to see how it looks but let's get these two cargo bays done let me do that uh, let me check something first do I have anything uh, yeah let's alright so let's get that in the build planner let's get that into the build planner let's grab everything that we can out of here for it all right. Weld these up. All right, let's go. So we got everything, well, maybe not everything out of here. Let's, uh, all right, that's everything out of there. Let's, let's see if we get a little closer here. We still need copper wire and basic computers, which should be over in the cargo truck. All right. Let's see if we can finish getting... Let's see. Cannot withdraw aluminum plates. Am I on aluminum plates? There we go. I thought I had enough. All right. Okay, that one's finished, and this one will be finished. Okay, so there is all of that. It's really kind of starting to look like a uh, power facility over here, isn't it? All right, so the next thing I got to do is figure out well, I need to plumb this into here and over into here. And I need to figure out, uh, probably we'll put like a T-junction into there and into there. And then I'll probably have a T-junction coming out. Uh, and then that will pull that into here on each side. Then that'll all be one uh, part of one conveyor system. Now the next thing I gotta do is, well, let's just take a quick trip down into here. Let's just see something here. Uh, we're gonna have to come down Oh, it's a tear in the earth. It's a rip in, 
fabric of time. There we go. Got that fixed. Oh, great. Okay, I get out. All right, so we get down here into the coal. And I guess I didn't take very much. I just only got a little bit of this. Energy low. Well, let's just grab a little bit of coal here. Because I'm going to have to mine this out so I can put my drills Inventory in. Full. All right. So I'm going to have to mine that out so I can put my drills in and put a conveyor system up to join into up here. Now, I should be able to put in this coal. The coal boiler. All right, production. Well, it's a fabricator. For inventory, coal boiler. Toggle block on. Right? Current one kilowatt. Consumes coal. Okay. Should have plenty of power over to get that started. Steam turbine. kilowatt. It needs 250 kilowatts, which I thought that's what I had when I connected this up over here. Uh, so I should have more than enough power to get that started. Which I'm not sure why it's didn't fire up because it's connected into the grid. All right, I needed to get charged up there. And this gravel that I picked up, we can put this in over here. We'll take it back over. Ah. Uh, See, my batteries have plenty of power. That's all part of the grid. Well, I'm going to have to figure that out. That, uh, I wasn't planning on having to put a separate, separate power supply, and if it's not putting power back into the grid or pulling it from the grid, then I'm not sure, unless... Unless something's not hooked up somewhere along the Well, it has to be, though. Because this is showing green light. If I turn my light up, it's green. So it has, it's showing it has power.
All right. Well, I'll have to figure that out. Anyway. Uh, all right. So next step while I'm figuring that out is to finish getting this built out. And then I'm going to start planning my uh, for my underground drilling system for my mine. So I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Okay, I'm back and I still haven't figured out why this is not producing. Uh, I'm going to have to try some more things. So I don't remember exactly where I was at, but I did get all of this stuff finished. I've got the uh, kind of the framework all in for the platform. Now I could probably might have to extend this some more, uh, but we're pretty close to having everything done on the top side here. Uh, so let's drive back over to the base because I'm going to have to go over there anyway. Uh, and we'll kind of start trying to figure out what we need to do next. Uh, well, first off, once I get offline, I'm going to have to try to figure out why that coal isn't firing. Uh, but let's turn the brake off and let's start heading back over. Oh, I think that other Monarch Transport finally figured out. I finally deleted the one that was out there, that was hanging out there. So the only one that's out, that's up and flying around now, is looks like that, there's a, like a courier or something like that. Once we get back over here, we can see what it is. But the other one that I had left out there, it looks like he managed to scrape along and, uh, get out of the atmosphere. Alright. Yeah, this is ever so slowly starting to look like a base around here. Still got a lot to do underground that I want to get done. There's still a uh, medical facility and living quarters and uh, control room stuff like that let's see I guess well we're coming up on 25 minutes so I'm guessing that uh, that's probably about going to do it for the video yeah that's that transport courier that's still uh, bopping along and the other one looks like it uh, managed to free itself uh, so we're working on the coal production facility and I want to get that done before I move on to anything else so that's uh, what we're going to be working on in the next episode which means I've got to figure out down below uh, what it's going to take to get a drill system in place and to get it all plumbed into uh, place so that uh, it's producing coal and putting it up into the two large cargo containers that I have up there. And so, yeah, I guess that's about uh, what we're going to get accomplished today. Once I get the coal facility done, then I think it's, uh, I got to decide on whether I'm going to work underground or uh, see what else I need to try to get done. Probably will be working underground, so... Uh, I can see a unknown signal out there, which I'm probably going to go chase down, but I'll do that uh, offline. All right. Well, space engineers, keep building away out there. And if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. And it really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. All right, space engineers, keep building away out there. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.